Hello, my name is Michael Kraus. I'm the Operations Executive uh, from World Sport Group. And uh, today I'll be sharing a bit with you about what I do. Um, so my role is to uh, be in charge of all the operations and logistics of the Barclays Singapore Open. As you know, the Barclays is uh, just under uh, two months away. And uh, to get an event of this stature together, it takes a lot of uh, coordination, liaising with uh, various parties. Um, so as we stand now, uh, we've got our building contractor, Pico, who are out on site. Uh, they started constructing uh, various uh, steel structures and a few weeks later we'll start constructing, uh, constructing marquees, uh, tentage marquees as well. Alright, so uh, since the tentages have not been completed yet, but some of the steel structures are, are already up, they're not fully completed, but come on, let me show you around. So what we've got behind us is the uh, Sentosa Hospitality Suite and the eight sponsor suites. Um, this is the biggest structure that we have out on site. Um, what's been completed so far by Pico is, as you can see, they've laid the steel foundations. The steel foundations are in. And as such, has also erected all the uh, steel works. Uh, the roofing is in. Um, so being the biggest structure uh, behind us, it takes about, uh, this structure takes about Three weeks to a month to complete uh, because it's the biggest one and there's uh, a lot of a lot of um, logistics that need to go into this uh, scene. Um, in terms of how many people this marquee can can hold at any one time, uh, each suite, each sponsor suite um, should not hold more than a hundred people uh, at any given point. There's eight sponsor suites, so you times that by eight, you would get a figure of 800. Uh, then on the left hand side. When you take the first pillar on the left till the fifth pillar on the going into the right, that's the uh, Sentosa Golf Club and Sentosa Suite. Um, they're bigger marquees, so they can hold about 200 per suite. So that's another 400, 400 in total. So in total, it can hold about maybe 1,200 per day, just in here over over four days. Um, apart from VIP guests, sponsors being in here, we have all the catering staff. Um, who occupy the back back of the marquee? We've got two two kitchens in the back. Uh, one for one for Rasa Sentosa, who uh, caters to all the sponsors, and then for the Sentosa and Sentosa Golf Club suite, we've got um, Sentosa Golf Club and Sentosa Catering, who takes care of, of their guests. Um, on the bottom floor, we have a WSG operations office. Um, inside here, about two weeks out of the event, um, I myself and another colleague uh, or two will be starting to shift over from our office in Domestic Tower to come and be stationed here. Um, So what you see behind you here is where we're going to have the main entrance and the sponsors display um, area. Uh, we're going to start construction uh, at the beginning of next month. It'll take about two weeks to construct. Uh, some of the challenges we're going to face here, uh, are especially if you can pick it up in the camera, is the gradient of the road. Uh, this gradient obviously needs to be leveled out uh, so that you've got a, a flat platform to walk along. Uh, so in the front you'll see it'll be very flat and um, as spectators later walk through this area to around where I'm standing now, we're going to have a staircase that's going to lead down. Um, so I guess uh, that's one of the challenges here. Uh, one difference we've uh, done this year is that last year we've made this area quite narrow, which means inside the marquee you only had about two meters of walking space. Uh, this year we've extended it to about four meters. So the other challenge is trying to fit uh, the marquee hard up against the drainage uh, on your right hand side here so that we can get um, maximum width of the uh, marquee.
So finally, final challenges would be obviously during event week. Um, that week shouldn't, if I've done my job correctly, then that week should not be too hectic. Um, but some of the things that I still have to, to look over is um, coordinating volunteers, making sure they get out of course, be involved in that, uh, making sure security that's out on site uh, is doing their job, if there's any issues out on course um, with spectators or, or medical issues that, that I'm there to, to respond quickly uh, with the security team. And then other than that, it's just checking on sponsors, seeing if everything's going all right, if everything, if they're happy with um, their day. Um, and yeah, so I don't envision too much if, I, if, that, if we've done our job properly, then, then it should be all right.